After protests and a lot of turmoil, the University of Oregon agrees to pay a student $800,000. This settles a lawsuit after she claims she was sexually assaulted by three members of the school's basketball team. Our Chris Woodard digging deeper to find out what's involved all in this settlement. Chris? Yeah, and those players were never charged in this case, but the woman sued the school and the university over how they handled the situation. She accused them, among other things, of keeping the basketball players on the team at first to avoid NCAA sanctions. More than 630 women and men will experience sexual assault at UO each year. It is a high profile case that sparked outrage and criticism. A female student reporting she was raped by three male students, all basketball players. The men were kicked off the team and barred from campus, but prosecutors said there was not enough evidence to file criminal charges and a lawsuit was filed. Now, more than a year later, it's over. We got a copy of the settlement and found out the student will get $800,000, four years of tuition, and a promise that the university will make policy changes requiring transfer students to report any disciplinary history at their prior schools. One of the players involved in the case had transferred to the University of Oregon to play basketball, and the lawsuit said that the university and Coach Dana Altman knew of his sex offenses committed at a prior school but did not notify students. In a statement today, University President Michael Schill said, quote, the underlying incident that gave rise to the litigation is an affront to each and every one of us. As president, I will not tolerate the victimization of any member of our community, period. Schill went on to say he does not believe any coaches or university personnel did anything wrong. The alleged victim also released a statement, saying in part, I am so glad to have this case behind me today and to be able to focus on my studies. I am very grateful for the outpouring of support that I have received from students, faculty, and other organizations. And if you'd like to read more of those statements, either from the university president or from the alleged victim in this case, just head to our website at coin.com where they have been posted. Back to you. And Chris, so once again, we should reiterate that the players were never criminally charged. Eugene police decided there wasn't enough evidence to take uh, to bring a criminal case against them. Correct. All right. Thank you, sir. Now